Well, don't look now, but the ASU football team is currently tied for second place in the Pac-10. The Sun Devils are 2-1 in conference play after a thrilling 24-17 victory over Washington on Saturday. And with five seconds left in the game, you see quarterback Danny Sullivan go back and heaving up a bomb. Chris McGahey coming down with it for the win. They go up 24-17. Fans were going crazy. The team was loving it, and everyone was talking about it still on Monday. Chris was wide open. It's going to be one of the greatest plays of both of our careers for this team, maybe for this university. The Sun Devils will travel to... Palo Alto next in California to face Stanford on Saturday. Kickoff is at 7:15, and you can watch the game on Fox Sports Arizona. The, the Phoenix Suns continue their preseason schedule tonight when they welcome former coach Paul Westfall and the Sacramento Kings to U.S. Airways Center. Phoenix is coming off a 116 to 94 loss to the 76ers on Sunday in a game that was played in Monterey, Mexico. The Suns will wrap up their preseason schedule against the Trailblazers on Thursday. The word golf was once believed to stand for gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. But as Bailey Moser shows us, the PGA Tour event here in the Valley this week, the Fries.com Open, is trying something new to make women feel like they belong. In a sport that is dominated by men, the Fries.com Open has taken steps toward making women feel more welcome. For the first time ever in a PGA Tour Pro-Am, you had to have a woman on your team if you wanted to tee it up. It's like you're rooting for each other differently than, of course, we hit a good shot and the ladies don't, or they hit a good shot and we don't, then, uh, you know, it gives a little kind of more fun goofing around kind of, kind of a deal for the format. So it's been fun. A PGA Tour pro and his spouse or significant other were paired with two amateur couples. The format was a modified scramble where the men played from the women's best drive and the women played from the men's best drive. This is kind of a fun event. It's not as a it's an official pro-am. It's not as intense as, say, walking and playing your own ball the whole way. Some of the women participants included professional golfers and ASU alumnae Blair O'Neill and Anna Nordquist. Oh, it's definitely an honor to be asked to come out here and play. And uh, it's a great golf course and great event. And uh, it should be a fun time. Focusing on bringing women out to play in pro-ams is not something that has been done before. But some say they can see it becoming a trend. Actually, I have a lot of female friends that are wanting to, they're asking me for lessons. You know, it's something that I think definitely, you know, a couple should be, should be out doing, just playing a little golf. It's a great way to get their wives involved and more women involved. So I would love to see it be a trend. A trend that will have more women teeing it up and also showing up in the crowds when the big boys hit the links on Thursday. Reporting in Scottsdale, Bailey Mosier, Cronkite News. The actual PGA Tour event will kick off this Thursday at Greyhawk Golf Club. And while you won't see any women in the field, you can be sure to see them cheering on from the stands. That's a pretty awesome story. It makes me want to go out on the links and, you know, see if I can take you on, Kristen. Oh, you know, I don't think you want to do that. I'm pretty good. Yeah, I think she could beat you, too. <laughs> yeah, she probably could. I'm terrible at golf. <laughs>